NBA player, father of four, business uh, aficionado, mogul, mogul does it all. Um, so how, since you're one of the rare individuals that's very successful in both, you know, athletics and business, what kind of overlaps have you seen mm. in the athletic, you know, uh, arena of your life along with the business arena of your life? Cause I know you roll around in some circles that are super successful businessmen and you know what it's like to be around guys that have, ex- ex- you know, achieved the highest level of business success along with, the highest level of athletic success. What are some common denominators that you see between those two groups? Mm. Um, you know, it, I might sound like a broken record today, uh, but uh, it, there really is no secret. Uh, that's uh, that's that's actually the one thing that I've learned is that if you surround yourself with great people, um, you know, whether that's in business or even in sports or entertainment. I mean, if you are if your team if you have a great team around you, that support system and all, all that stuff, uh, that's going to set you up for the, the highest level you can get to. Um, and um, and nothing replaces just work. I mean, nobody, there's not one ultra successful person I've, I've met in basketball or in business that was just like, yeah, I just woke up one day and I was one of the greatest <laughs> of all time. You know, (laughs) it doesn't really work like that. Uh, You know, there's in basketball, basketball is a little bit different because basketball, there are some God gifted, naturally more talented people. Right. Um, But in order, the only reason why LeBron James is LeBron James is not because just because of his God given talent. It's because of his work ethic as well. Um, Same thing with Michael Jordan. Same thing with Kobe Bryant. Um, you know, the best of the best are always the hardest workers as well. And so, yes, they were absolutely blessed with some unbelievable natural talent, but uh, they took that and then they molded it into becoming literally a goat, right? And so um, <clears throat> for me, uh, that's what I've seen in business is there's just not anything that can replace work, um, you know, working for what you want. And, uh, and surrounding yourself with great people, um, it's going to be, you know, it's kind of like the secret sauce. I, I mean, that's it. <laughs> it's absolutely, uh, that's going to be the best chance of you being successful.